Perhaps all of us at one time or another have dreamed of traveling the world. Few of us, however, will ever realize that dream. Army Sergeant Ron Lee caught up with one such person who is using this opportunity of a lifetime to help bridge the gap of understanding. You would think 58-year-old Roger Williams would have enough of traveling. You see, he spent the last 40 years as both a military and commercial pilot. However, this energetic retiree is interested in the world, geography, and, oh yeah, computers. He puts his three loves together by literally traveling the world, talking to kids about the beauty of computer communication through the Internet. If I can introduce them to students in Russia, uh, students in Italy, students in Africa, uh, then 30 years down the road, they'll have friends in all these countries, you know. Uh, that, that is really important to me. What the kids learn is invaluable indeed. And what does he learn? Well, that despite the different climates, languages, and cultures, everyone is basically the same. People are just not that different all over the world. I don't care what the, you know, what country I'm in, uh, whether you're Portuguese or whether you're black or whether you're whatever color you are, people have the same wants, the same needs, same desires, and if we can get everyone understanding that. The Global Schoolhouse Project that Roger is a part of has over 450 schools worldwide. Charting his whereabouts is sort of like a where in the world is Roger Williams. Some of them have a big world map and they plot little points uh, where I've been and where I'm going and put little yarn across it so they can follow this whole adventure. One last fascinating point about the traveling man is his mode of travel. A self-designed Dodge Ram for those little out-of-the-way places. Though it's called the Communication Superhighway, 58-year-old Roger Williams is content with taking the low road while spreading the news of understanding through communication. Army Sergeant Ron Lee, FEN News.